six months ago our very own RKS Doom reviewed an indie horror movie called The Axiom. Specifically, he called the film a stylish and clever slice of independent horror, and his review really caught my interest. So much so in fact that the film shot onto my must-see list as soon as it finished the review. You can read said review here. Anyhow, info on the film has been scarce since but that all changes today as we have your first look at the film's poster and gorgeous trailer. Genre sales specialists Devil Works is repping world rights on the supernatural thriller, which was launched at the recent Cannes Film Festival. You can check the poster out to the right and the trailer below and then make sure to hit us up and let us know what you think in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. The film is written and directed by Nicholas Woods and stars William Kirker, The Hobbit, Patti Smith, Zach Titus, and Nicole D'Ambro. There isn't currently a release date but we will make sure to keep you guys up to date on the film. Synopsis, a young woman who, at the risk of her friend's safety, travels into a national forest, in search for her missing sister. Once in the wilderness, they discover they have entered a multi-dimensional world full of monsters. Last week we let you guys know that, while the CW passed on the supernatural spin-off Wayward Sisters, they had given a fifth season to fan-favorite zombie comedy series iZombie. And as cool as that news was, it looks like it comes with a caveat. Yes, it looks like the upcoming fifth season of iZombie will be its last. Series star Rose McIver took to Twitter to confirm the news the other day writing, so the fifth season of iZombie will be our last. I am therefore committed and excited to make it the best one yet. Really proud to be on a show that celebrates the misfits and I pinch myself every day that I get to be a part of the iZombie world with you guys. Thank you. The show, which is based upon characters created by Chris Roberson and Michael Allred, and published by DC Entertainment's Vertigo, is rumored to return during the mid-season schedule. We'll let you know when we hear more. Are you sad to see the series go? Make sure to hit us up and let us know what you think in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram. Synopsis, Olivia, Liv. More, Rose McIver, was a rosy cheek, disciplined, overachieving medical resident who had her life path completely mapped out, until the night she attended a party that unexpectedly turned into a zombie feeding frenzy. As one of the newly undead, Live is doing her best to blend in and look as human as possible. Although it's certainly not considered to be one of his best films, I'll always have a soft spot for Wes Craven's Swamp Thing. Based on the DC Comics character, the film opened to mixed reviews when it was originally released in 1982, although it's since gone on the air in a cult following, and even spawned both a sequel and a live-action TV series spin-off. 88 films will finally release Swamp Thing on Blu-ray in the UK on September 10th, which will be the first time the film has been available on the format in the country. Extras will include two separate audio commentaries, one by Craven himself, and the other by critic and fan Ian Jane, and an interview with production designer Rob Wilson King. More extras will be announced closer to the date of release, although we know that the Blu-ray will come will also come with a booklet by critic Callum Waddell. The box art revealed on 88 Films Facebook page also promises that it will include a limited edition slipcase. Swamp Thing starred Ray Wise as the scientist Alec Holland, with Dick Dirac his titular monstrous alter ego. The supporting cast include Adrian Barbeau, David Hess, Nicholas Worth, and Louis Jordan. Whilst it was notably lighter in tone than most of the films that shaped Craven's career, it's still a film that all horror fans should watch at least once. 
UK readers can pre-order their Blu-ray copy of Swamp Thing on Amazon. I'm really looking forward to the upcoming sequel to the Jack Black Kid Horror flick Goosebumps. I enjoyed the books as a kid and dug the 2015 movie more than I ever thought I would. And speaking of Goosebumps, Haunted Halloween, today we have your first look at Ken Jeong in the film. The actor dropped the first look image over on Twitter and you can check it out below. He's dressed as Frankenstein's monster, but this looks to be part of a Halloween party so I don't think he's actually playing that part. But I guess we'll see. The film is directed by Ari Sandal and stars Madison Eisman, Ben O'Brien, Khalil Harris, Jeremy Ray Taylor, Wendy McClendon Covey, Ken Jeong, and Chris Parnell. Goosebumps, Haunted Halloween hits October 12th.